when I was a kid, I collected insurrectionary, outspoken, not girly girls in books. There was Anne of Green Gables, and there's Joe March in Little Women, and there's Scouting to Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> A scout is irresistible. She's just irresistible. I fell in love with Scout. I wanted to be Scout. I thought I was Scout. What do you think you're doing? I love the fact that she's a little smart ass. She speaks first with her fists and then has to <laughs> sort of back up three or four steps. She's sort of an extension of like a Huck Finn character. She's very typically an American character in that she is poking at the boundaries of, of good taste and you know what's proper. Bud, look at Scout. <laughs> and here's Scout, you know, who believes in things, who is funny and curious and passionate and a tomboy. And I think Scout has done more for Southern womanhood than any other character in literature. Aunt Alexandra was fanatical on the subject of my attire. I could not possibly hope to be a lady if I wore breeches. I still don't see why I have to wear a darn old dress. Aunt Alexandra's vision of my deportment involved playing with small stoves, tea sets, and wearing the Atta Pearl necklace she gave me when I was born. Furthermore, I should be a ray of sunshine in my father's lonely life. I suggested that one could be a ray of sunshine in pants just as well, but Auntie said that one had to behave like a sunbeam. She's a scamp and, and hysterically funny. Um, and, and no less funny as an adult looking back, although in a slightly more fermented and, and, and seasoned way. And um, she's, she's, just, she's just great company. I think one of the reasons I became so obsessed with Harper Lee is because everything that she did convinced me that she was just a grown-up scout who hadn't gone over to the dark side of being a girly girl.